they are so clearly scamming all of us hey guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know my name is nikki and i would love if you could subscribe to my channel if you like this video or me however if you're not new here and you're a returning subscriber hi i love you so much today's video is going to be part of my series saint nickmas or 12 days of saint nickmas and i'm going to be doing 2019's best and worst products of the year these are not all products that came out this year these are just all products that i tried and used throughout the years throughout the years throughout this past year and i'm going to tell you whether they were good whether they sucked i'm going to compare and contrast and yeah if you want to hear all the tea and shade today then please keep on watching <laughs> So I know I look exactly like this in a previous video. That's because I just got done filming it. I was going to change, but um, I forgot and then I pressed record and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Today we're talking about 2019 best and worst products. So I do want to start off with skincare. So for skincare, I don't have the products in front of me. For makeup, I have the products here, but for skincare, I don't have them in front of me because they are in my bathroom. But let's talk about it. I'll probably post pictures somewhere so y'all can see what exactly I'm talking about. But I want to talk about the best skincare line I have come across this year. My mom uses it. My best friend uses it. We all freaking love it. We have all noticed difference in our skin. And it's just chef's kiss amazing, okay? And I'm so shocked that people are not talking about this. It's it mind boggles me it is a drugstore line but it's kind of pricey it's kind of equal to like Olay and L'Oreal and Neutrogena it's those prices it's anywhere from like 20 to 40 dollars so it's not the cheapest drugstore products but it's definitely not like Sephora high-end type of skincare but this skincare is so good it's called MD Complete. Now this line was created by two dermatologists and what makes this so unique is that they are clinically proven against laser treatment at a dermatologist. Like it's it went up against laser treatment you guys. I cannot explain how crazy that is so I don't want this to sound like an ad or anything. I just have a lot of knowledge on this brand but it went up against laser treatment. It went up against dermatologist recommended products that they sell at the dermatologist it went up against like legit things whereas other brands i'm not gonna say who but like other brands they're clinically proven but they were clinically proven against placebo effects you know what i use is i use the deep moisturizer the serum the eye cream and the cleanser those things are like my ride or freaking die I have noticed such a difference in my skin. It's just, it's just amazing. I literally feel like I can just do my skincare routine and then walk out into the world and still look pretty because my skin is just that fucking popping. And when I don't use my whole regimen of MD Complete, my skin starts to break out. I start to get my texture back and it just doesn't look cute anymore. So it's definitely my skincare regimen that is making my skin look so nice, plump, do we some stuff that I just didn't like because I try a lot of skincare for my job I have to try skincare that's how I found MD complete but I've tried a lot of Olay products L'Oreal products I've tried it all you guys and I just want to talk about the Olay Regenerist is it the Regenerous Whip? that thing it did not moisturize me not one bit and it's pretty pricey you guys I do not like the Regenerist Whip, not at all. It burned my eyes, I think because it has SPF in it, but that thing burned the crap out of my eyes. I did not like it, it didn't make me moisturize, that just was a... Okay, now let's move into makeup. So I'm gonna start off like how I would do my makeup. So let's start off with primers. So the two primers that I love and adore for 2019 is the e.l.f poreless face primer and then also the touch and soul glossy skin primer these two primers are so 
uh, they are so so good this one is perfect to like smooth out your skin it really works I love it and this one just gives you the most dewiest skin sometimes I will just put this on the high points of my face and walk out the door looking like literal glass skin guys this stuff is amazing perfect for the winter time as well because I've been feeling so dry and I put this on my face I am good to freaking go these two primers are freaking amazing now let's talk about some primers that I absolutely hated okay so I want to start off with the wonder beauty glow ahead illuminating face oil this is supposed to be a primer guys I got this in my boxy charm <sighs> this stuff is horrible it literally had my whole all my skin products on my face like my makeup my powders everything was just like slipping and sliding my powders wouldn't stick to my face my eyeshadows out here wouldn't stick to my face my under it was the opposite of what a primer should do it just nothing would stick to my face after using this it was like literal oil the next one was a hyped up product and I do not understand it it was the elf poreless putty primer absolutely not I used this only a couple of times if you can see I wanted to give it a fair shot and it did nothing for me it's not like it was bad it wasn't doing what that oil was doing but it wasn't helping me at all my skin was not looking cute it just wasn't doing anything for me I don't know why this thing was so hyped up it, it did nothing for me and then the last one I want to talk about is also an elf problem problem is also an elf product this is the jelly pop primer you know what this feels like first of all it smells like watermelons I don't like scent on my skin this smells like watermelons and it feels like a literal lip gloss it feels like you are pushing out lip gloss and smearing it on your face do you know how horrible that is can y'all even like push out a lip gloss and try to smear it on your face who approved this i need to know because this was literally ugh, i hated it okay so let's move on into foundation so i don't have a worst foundation because i do not try foundations i am just not like a foundation trier if i find the one that's all i'm using and i don't know if i talked about it last year but i probably mentioned the nars um foundation wasn't good and i I don't know if I mentioned it, but let me mention it now. The NARS foundation, not cute, but that was last year. So I'm going to talk about this year. So last year, I probably mentioned that the Born This Way Too Faced foundation was my ride or freaking die. It still is. I still love this thing. I just, I don't know, the price compared to the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth, I feel like these two are exactly the same, and this is only $8. So... I don't know I 100% fell in love with this foundation this year this is so good it's like a medium coverage if y'all have been watching my videos I use this in all my tutorials I love this this is like it's beautiful moving on to concealers the concealer I fell in love with this year was the covergirl true blend undercover concealer this thing is so good it is so so full coverage i have all these products on right now this is so full coverage and it's like a, a cross between shape tape and born this way and it's only like 10 bucks it is so so good you guys i suggest y'all go pick this up at the drugstore and see if you like it because if you do that'll take you like if you're using shape tape or something that's like a 30 dollar concealer you can save like 20 bucks if you Go and purchase this one so i suggest y'all go try this out see if it's good or not if you like it i know we all have different skin types but this one was so good i love it like this is my new ride or die 100 a concealer i didn't like and it's pretty hyped it's the bye bye under eye by it cosmetics i don't know like why this is so talked about like katie talks about this thing like it's the most amazing thing on earth i don't get it i get that everyone has different skin types but this is so thick this is so so thick even when i use it just a little bit it creases it's like it builds like it's really like crepey or cakey it i don't like this i did not like this one bit this is pretty much full i've used this probably i think i used it like three times and it just 
No, like this is so freaking thick. For cream contour, I cream contour every time I do my makeup. It is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha. Look how used this thing is. I've had this probably for two years and it's still not done. This stuff is so, so good. I'm probably going to purchase it again and I hardly ever purchase high-end products anymore. But I love this two cream contour so I'm probably going to purchase this again. I don't know. But um, this was my ride or die. Cream contour. Love it forever. I don't have a worse one just because I feel like I've tried a drugstore ones and they're all pretty equal towards each other so I don't really have one that was like oh horrible so. Now let's talk about translucent powders. The best translucent powders I've tried all year are definitely the Maybelline Fit Me translucent powders. I use 10 and 20. I use 10 for my t-zone and 20 for the rest of my skin so I kind of highlight and contour with them kind of but i love these so so much they are so pigmented and they give you that extra coverage that my foundation doesn't give me because that's a medium found a medium coverage like i said because that's a medium coverage like i said so these give me that extra coverage and it just makes my skin look so smooth so nice i love them to death these are my ride or die powders now let's talk about the worst powder i've tried all year y'all the becca what is this the becca hydramus set and refresh powder so i use this and i use this quite a lot and I thought I liked this. I thought it was really cool because when you put this on, it feels literally wet. It feels like wet skin. And I don't really like my makeup to look powdery and matte. So I thought I liked this. Look how much I used. But one day, I really paid attention to this. I like really, really paid attention to how my skin looked after it. And I felt like it really oxidized my skin. And it took away the brightness from under my eyes. And it made my skin look like it was the wrong shade on me. I didn't like it. I didn't like the finish like I thought I did. So I went back to the Fit Me powders. And I was like, oh my god, this is why my makeup was looking weird. Because I couldn't pinpoint why my makeup has started looking weird and it was 100% this powder and I tried this again and I was like oh my god this is amazing why did I stop using this I only stopped using it because I got this in a boxy charm and I was like oh my god I always wanted to try this so I used it for a while and it's literally horrible I will not use it again I will not even give it to a friend because it's so bad. I don't know why I used this for so long and every time I used this, I was like, my makeup just looks weird and I didn't know why and I should have known it was the powder. Okay, so next up is bronzers. Now, the bronzers that I have used, these are so dirty, but the bronzers that I've been using all year are the NYX one and the Physicians Formula one. I really, really adore these bronzers. I think they are so good. Right now, I have the Physicians Formula one on. I really love these. This one, it's a little bit too warm for me, but I like it in the summer. I think it gives such a pretty look to your skin. The bronzer I did not like this year is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer. I also got this in a BoxyCharm, and this thing made my skin look so muddy and I thought it was maybe because it was too dark for me but if you look at this it's really not dark it, it, it's really not dark at all so I don't know why it was making my skin look so freaking muddy I love the packaging I think it's so pretty but this just made my skin look so muddy it looked so horrible in photos I do not I do not like this Maybe I'll give it to somebody with a deeper complexion, it might look better, but it did not look good on me. I don't know, I don't think it's the color, honestly, because it's a pretty light bronzer. So I don't know why, but this is like the muddiest bronzer in the entire world. For blush, the blush that I absolutely loved, I have three. This one is the Wet n Wild blush. This is a luminous blush. This is so pretty, especially for fall. I love this, I was gonna say bronzer. I love this blush so much. And then when I want a more pinky tone blush, like 
baby doll look. I love this Physicians Formula Bronze. I keep wanting to say bronzer. I love this Physicians Formula blush. This is in the shade Rose. And then the last one is this Alomar blush palette. I love this palette. I especially love this color and this one. Mixing them together it gives you the prettiest peachy toned blush. It's so beautiful. Now the worst blush I have ever tried ever <laughs> is the Pixie from Head to Toe blush. This is a it says glowy powder in the shade Fetch, but it looks like a blush. It looks like a really pretty dewy blush. How do I explain this? I put this on and it looked really pretty, but in photos it looked so dark. Like it had the biggest shadow and it's weird because it's not a dark color. It has like a sheen, like a golden peach sheen to it. It just looks like a pretty blush or like a blush topper. It just looked like I had a shadow on my cheek on both cheeks and i put it on my nose so i looked dark my favorite highlight of 2019 is the amrezy and anastasia beverly hills highlighter this stuff my freaking ride or die i love this i will always love this i think i loved it last year and i love it again this year this is just the best highlight in my opinion i love it so much the worst highlight, I don't have it with me because I gave it away, but the worst highlight, which is always talked about as a really good drugstore highlight, it's not. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. Horrible. That thing gave me so much texture. I mean, why? I Maybe people with like baby soft skin can pull that off, but for me... For brows, the brow pencil I fell in love with this year is the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This thing is so good. It's just like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love the NYX one. I love this one. I don't know. Those two brow pencils are so good for me. I love them so much. I don't have a worst brow pencil because I really don't like the thicker brow pencils that are like angled. I don't like any of those. ABH has one, Benefit has one. I don't like them, but it's not to say that they're not good brow pencils. It's just they're not good for me. I also really liked the CoverGirl Clear Brow Gel. I love this because of how small the brush is. I don't know if y'all can see, but it reminds me of the Benefit one, just half the price. Let's get into lipsticks. Now, my favorite, favorite lipsticks, which just surprised me 100%, were these Revlon lipsticks. Like, just the normal Revlon lipsticks. They're so good. I only have two, and both of them are amazing. I have this red one, and then I have a really light nude one. And the nude one, I love to just put it on the center of my lips to give me, like, an ombre effect. So pretty. This red one, I even like started using this instead of the Fenty Beauty one just because it was so comfortable. I love I love it. I love it. Also the Wet n Wild lipsticks. These things are only like a dollar guys. So good. And then also we have to mention the Fenty Beauty lip glosses. So so good. I actually like the it's, it's like the white pearl one. I don't know what it's called. I like that one better than this one, but both of them are just the best glosses ever. I love them so much. The lipsticks that I absolutely hated this year were the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons and then the NYX Liquid Suede. Now, I don't know if I don't like this in the other colors, but I definitely do not like this in the darker shades. These are so streaky like so streaky they're they're not good this is quite practically the worst black lipstick i have ever used it is horrible guys this thing is like so sheer when you layer it like you can tell it's like splotchy it's horrible for the ink crayons now this one was so strange because i used this and the first time i used this i was so amazed by it i was like this thing is so freaking good it's a matte lip crayon and i thought and that i love this and i remember drinking coffee and I mean, it came off, it transferred a little bit onto my straw, but it was perfectly on my lips. Like, it was perfect. It did not come off. It lasted all day. It was so good, right? 
wrong so i continued to wear these i have a couple i have like a nude one i have this one i have like an orangier one i continuously was wearing these because i thought they were so so good and then my lips got so dry my lips were like cracking not cracking they weren't that dry but if i would have kept wearing these that's what would have happened my lips were like begging for moisture and I put on chapstick every morning and every night so I only have two more things left that I want to talk about I want to talk about face palettes and eyeshadow palettes so let's get into it let's start off with face palettes now I'm not super into face palettes but I got this cover effects face palette in my boxycharm and you can see how much I use this because I hit pan I never hit pan on things but this is such a good face palette this blush is so pretty this bronzer is so nice i didn't really use the finishing powder but everything else is so pretty the under eye brightener so beautiful the highlighters good it also comes with this nice mirror this was just a really really good face palette i stopped using it because the clasp broke and it was kind of like getting messy and it kept falling and stuff so i took it off of my makeup table and i totally forgot about it but this thing is so good and i used to love to travel with this because it meant you didn't have to pack everything because you have your whole bronzer blush and highlight in here so and i don't travel with it anymore because the clasp broke and that's just like disaster waiting to happen but this thing was so so good the one i didn't really like was this morphe face palette there's nothing really wrong with this morphe face palette it does have a really nice big mirror you can see my mess but it does have a really nice big mirror this okay my problem with this is the amount of like bronzer shades and highlight shades this could have came with some blushes or something I think the layout of this is not that great I got it just to get it but it's really not that great especially this bronzer right here look how red it is I know it's supposed to be for deeper complexions but ain't nobody trying to wear ain't nobody trying to wear this red ass bronzer I don't care what skin color you are people do not want to wear this so I don't know what they were thinking with that everything else is just okay in my opinion I'm not the biggest fan of morphe I feel like they are so overhyped and they have so many people pushing their products but they don't make great products you know what I mean ColourPop they make high quality products and they keep their prices so low and I feel like that's something that Morphe tries to do or like tries to say that they do but they don't like they up the price so much and they have really shitty products I feel like their powders are so hard to blend and I'm just not the biggest fan so I did buy this before I realized that they were a fucking scam but I don't know I just I like the mirror and that's about it i do like one of the highlighters this highlighter here is absolutely gorgeous but that's it like that's the only good part of this palette is the beam highlighter that's literally it okay so now let's get into eyeshadow palette so i have three here that i love i got two of these in my boxy charm so this is the ace beauty grandiose palette this is such a beautiful palette i don't remember when i got this and I don't remember if I talked about it last year, but if I didn't, I want to talk about it now. I'm already hitting pan on this shade right here because it's so gorgeous, especially for fall. This palette is the perfect fall palette. It is so beautiful. The next one I also got in my boxycharm. This is the Blushing Berries palette by Dose of Colors. It only has five shades, but these five shades are it. Like, these five shades are the most amazing pigmented shades in the entire world the black in this palette never in my life have i used a black that i can't even i don't have words i was mind blown when i used the black in here and i was mind blown when i just used the whole palette i did a look with this when i was on vacation and my look was so good and it was so easy to use these blend like butter and the next palette that i wanted to throw in here it took me by surprise this little wet and wild palette this is the coffin break palette so this is what it looked like i just got it because i did a drugstore look and i needed a palette and i thought these were really pretty but guys i found myself reaching for this palette so much like 
I, I was constantly reaching for this palette and when I first used it like in the video that I did with it I was like okay this is pretty good this is really pretty I was I was surprised by it but I was even more surprised by how many times I kept reaching for this palette and that says a lot because I have so many palettes but this one I kept grabbing over and over especially for this mustard shade right here it is so beautiful for fall not to mention this palette is only $7.99 and you can do so many good looks you can do a smoky eye you can do a fall look you can do you can do a neutral look like this is the perfect palette I I love it if you're like trying to get into makeup and you don't know what to buy and you don't want to waste your hard-earned money get this because it's only $7.99 and it's so good now I want to end the video with the worst palette of all it's not the worst but it's definitely not good and it's overhyped and I do not like it even though I have it on my eyes right now <laughs> the Morphe and James Charles palette now this came out at the end of last year but I don't care I'm gonna throw it into this year because this thing was a freaking disappointment. I understand, this palette looks so pretty. If you just look at it, it looks amazing. And that's why I got it, because I don't like James Charles. I don't support him, I don't fuck with him, but my ex-boyfriend bought this for me. I didn't want to spend my money on it because I don't support him, so I asked my ex to buy this for me when he wasn't my ex. And he bought this for me, and it was the biggest disappointment. This thing was so hard to blend. The purples in here are horrible. And I just want to talk about how he made a video and he was like, this is how you have to use the shadows. And I did it how he said and they still sucked. I don't think that you should use a shadow a specific way or I don't think you should have to use a shadow a specific way with a specific primer in order to get good results because I have so many good palettes that come out beautiful like where my looks come out beautiful why are there so many rules to using this thing like I get it he wanted to use supposedly he wanted to be like innovative and use like pressed pigments but why if so many other brands can do it and make the shades blendable and nice, why couldn't Morphe? And then this year he came out with the mini version. They are so clearly scamming all of us. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you disagree with me. We all have our own opinions. Things work differently for different people people have different skin types people just different opinions you know what i mean so something i hate could work really well for you so take what i say with a grain of salt because everybody is different but anyways guys if you like this video please like it down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video or me if you made it to the end i love you so much thank you so much and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye